This is a snake. <laughs> Maybe even touch the snake. <laughs> My name's Jack Randall, and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. Welcome to the Kunaini River. That side is Angola. Now the other side is Namibia. The whole length of this river is used by the local people. It's also home to some incredible wildlife, including my target species for today, the Nile crocodile. This small village is set along the banks of a river. It's home to the local Himba people, who have lived here for many generations. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get out over here and just check out the river. Wow, okay, already I can see there's a crocodile slide mark on the other side of the bank there. The crocodiles, as they slide into the water, you can actually see where they've been entering and exiting the river. Absolutely amazing. It always happens, the rivers, I absolutely love it. It just is the most important part of everywhere you go, because that's the place where animals congregate. To get a better sense of where the crocodiles are, I go and ask advice from the locals. Molo, 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 molo. Hello, Molo Molo. I looked up how to ask where the crocodiles were. Molo Molo. Ongandu uh, Ilipi. Crocodiles are this way. There actually is a crocodile on the banks. Okay, so it's probably about three foot. So it's a young, young crop. But there you are. You can see those teeth coming out of that jaw. I'm going to get my kayak. I might be able to get my hands on it. You never know. I'll grab that. So skittish, cool. straight into the water. Let's go down further and we might be able to see some of the big crocs. These can get up to 17 feet in length. And exactly at that very spot right now, we have a Nile monitor lizard. Woo! Look at that, it's almost like a crocodile. You could be easily mistaken thinking from a distance that that is a crocodile over there. The main predator for crocodile eggs is exactly them the monitor lizards. So actually, the reason why that monitor lizard is over there is probably a load of babies in the middle of this river. Something just scared it and it's just starting to move off. All right, let's keep looking. Then we heard shouts there was a snake around. Big? What type? In the tree or? Wow. It's so cool when you come to a community like this and you make people aware that you're after the reptiles. And we just heard snake, 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 snake. And that is a really beautiful whip snake. The rear fanged, slightly venomous snake. And they love to eat the lizards and frogs that are living in and around this river. Let's go and show them what snake it is. This is the snake. <laughs> Very calm, really calm. I'll right, be down here. Maybe even touch the snake. <laughs> Everybody's a good sport, but obviously snakes are just scary because actually, to be fair, there are dangerous snakes around like the boom slangs. We're going to put him back down into his tree whilst we go and find some more animals of the Kunaini River. Let's go. Crocodile. Right, they've just said that there's actually a big crocodile that lives the other side of that bank. And I can just see right now where that crocodile is coming in and out of the water. It's a big mudslide. That could be five meter crocodile. About that wide, that means it's nearly maybe 700 kilograms of crocodile that's living right here. So that everybody has to be very careful, especially getting water from the water's edge, because that's exactly what a crocodile does in order to get their prey. They ambush very, very quietly underneath the water with just their eyes emerging. There might be a crocodile literally right there. So you see the bubbles? Right there, there's a crocodile. We've got a large adult crocodile. It's very, very dangerous. We're just gonna wait, do a bit of a stakeout. The 
goats have just actually come down and the goats need to drink the water. There's this little water hole right here that is slightly separated from the main river where the big crocodile is. And the girl that's actually herding the goats down is in charge of stopping the goats from getting to the main river. That crocodile is ready and is waiting in order to snatch its prey. It really is quite an important job. But it's important because it's the whole livelihood keeping these goats. And you lose one out of a whole herd. It's quite important. Oh, this one's trying to go. Naughty. We're going to go back to our stakeout and see if we can find that big crocodile come up. So the Kunani River crocodiles, they're just kind of bucket list animals. Oh yeah, look there. That's a big croc. Wow, that's an absolute beast. That's the crocodile which the girl is scared of because those goats get a little bit too close. Easy, easy meal, those goats. But very nervous as well. The croc has just gone submerged again. Well, we'll keep looking for a bit longer to see if this croc comes out onto the banks. It could be a long waiting game. Well, actually, that was the last time we saw him that day. Sometimes I can't always get up close, really close to the animals that I'm after, but I'm still pleased. We've managed to see the water monitor. We've seen the crocodiles from the adolescents to the big adults here. And we've also seen how people can live alongside these animals. And it is quite amazing how there is a healthy respect between the locals and the animals. But ultimately, it's just a way of life. And I love the way they're connected like that. The Kunani River, yes. There's one thing for sure, we'll be back soon to show you that big crocodile up close. Oh.